hard question. We're, <laughs> we're with Cal, so. Yeah, so you're good. Uh, yeah. All right, man, just, uh, you good? Yep. All right, just talk about 2018 coming up. What you looking forward to? Um, 2018, my, I, my expectation for 2018 would be uh, to win a, uh, the Sun Belt Championship, you know, hopefully get invited to a big bowl game, you know, beat the odds. What about, what's been the, the biggest change for you guys from last year, this year, now this year? Uh, the biggest change has been um, our abundance, you know, like we had to come together as a team now. Like everybody wants to win. Like everybody got that winning mentality in them now, you know, it's just been instilled into us, you know. How does that, is it more fun that way? Yeah, it's very fun, you know. When everybody want to win, you know, you can't go wrong with that, you know. When you ain't got people who want to be selfish and want to do their own thing, you know, you can't go wrong with that. What's something people don't know about Coach Campbell? He's a, the type of Timo that he bring to practice, you know. Like, he always come to practice hyped up, fired up. He get us going, really. When Whenever he come out there, he like, hey, get the yelling, screaming, you know. Now we out there just all amped up behind him. Um, my personal goal this season is to just really just maintain, have a great season, go out like, be the best receiver inside the Sun Belt, not just Sun Belt, inside the whole nation, you know, lead, lead the nation in both receiving yards, touchdowns, and receptions, but at the same time, not get out of my game and my elements and still be a team player. Right. Um, you know, I look to lead, you know, I give, like when I lead, I'm not much of a vocal leader. I'm more of a leader who like just lead by example. That's what my coach always tell me, like just go out there and if you go, and if you come out here and give your all, then they gonna look up to you and they gonna wanna do what you doing. You know, so I try to get like my young bucks, like Cephas Johnson, quarterback, I try to get him good, great, great, great confidence coming into like practice and stuff. I tell him like, hey, this your team, you know, like I'm a senior, I'm finna be gone. This your team, you the future. Like we need you. You need us, help us, let us help you be great, you know? So I try to give them confidence, you know, like that. The strength of our offense? Uh, the vertical threat? I mean, I feel like we can be very dangerous down downfield going deep downfield also um finding out who our go-to running back is you know we got a couple studs at running back like you got Trey Minner you got um you got this new freshman came in Smith you got Carlos you got Taiwan D Moore you know we got a couple running backs we trying to find out who, who the go-to guy is you know and also for our receiver court you know we got a deep core we got Jordan McCray Malik Stanley K Sutherland Davin we got them type of guys who just come out, try to come out and compete the biggest improvement, uh, it had to be Malik Stanley. You know, that guy come out, he he, he really pushes me because we always in the weight room together. He just try to outwork me. So we're going to try to outwork each other. And it just favored both of us in a good way. Uh, and then Malik, we always like go get extra work in with the quarterbacks, you know. And Malik come out, um, he got like, he work on his footwear a lot, off the line type thing, you know. He got that deal going on. And that's just like gonna separate him so much farther from other receivers. Appreciate it. How you doing, man? Scott, Jamari's way. I just heard some guys talk about you. <laughs> hmm? One kill again. One kill? Oh my God! Don't do that. I carry the team, man. I get like five kills. I average like four kills a game, though. Yeah.
Nah, not nah, 50 50. Just Battle Roy straight up. Yeah. Nah, I play squats. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I don't get carried. I'm gonna be honest, I'm the body bag of the squad. I go out there first and I take the hit. And that's where everybody knows where they at. Oh, so you wanna so you just a decor for real, for real. Yeah, so for most part. It's not on purpose. So. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Um, I've only asked a couple people this, but what, would you rather attack or a pump? Say it again? Attack or pump? Uh, the tech because the pump, the pump reload too slow. Yeah. The tech more of a, yeah. I, I can't, I still use the pump. You like the pump? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. just does more damage. You must got good aim then. I feel like if I wanted to shoot with something like attack, I would get like the new Tommy gun. Right. I would use that. Okay. What it, up? It shoots fast and it also makes all the same amount of damage. What about it, the new SMG? You like that? I haven't used it yet. I can't use it. Myself. Is it really that much better? Yes, and then like it's it's really made for close range for real. Cause you get close and if you use it, it gonna spit so fast. So yeah. the old one's so bad it just came out. It's right. kind of like the burst, the original burst I thought was terrible. Right. When it came out there. So mm-hmm. Like I don't I don't even use burst. I don't even like burst guns. Yeah. Nah, I'm more the tack guy. I pick the tack over everything, even the scar. I put the tag over the scar. I really go to work with that tag, though, for real. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, you know, I got this, got this thing on my wrist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you found if you if you had a full full loadout and you found a scar, you would not replace it. If I see if, if I see a blue tack, I'm getting that blue tack. And you would drop a scar. Yeah. Right. Listen, I didn't I, I I had a scar a couple times and I couldn't get a kill with it. So I, I don't know if it's my sensitivity level and it just moved the screen. I don't know. How do you kill people from farther distance? Uh. Uh, I use the sniper. I use the snipe. But other than that, I, I run up on them. So you're short range and long range. So yeah. You don't even try and put any range. Nah. Because I'm, I'm probably just going to knock some off and then I'm end up getting killed. So I let, like you say, how you just go run out there. I let one of my teammates go do that. And I come up behind Bill, jump on top of him. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> Seven, somewhere in the 80s. See, I gotta be, I gotta be for sure here because everybody knows what the rating is. I think it's like, close. I mean, I haven't played my player in a little minute. I haven't either. So I don't even know. You say 86? You say 86. And his position? Small for it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and his teams. Uh, who I play for? Uh, I don't even know who I play for. That's crazy. Oh, I'm on New Orleans, the Pelicans. I'm on the Pelicans. Yeah, 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 yeah.
nobody really knows about him, but there are there are some people that do see he has he has a high ceiling. What do you think he can bring to your offense that you didn't have in the past? Uh, he's versatile. You know, like he can he can scramble out of the pocket. He he's more mobile than Cole in Dallas, and he also got an arm. He's a slanger. It's just. He just got to have that confidence boost. You know, like, he never played in a real game before. He only been in practices, so you just need that confidence boost, you know. All right. What's the goal this year? Uh, Sun Belt champions, go to a bowl game, win a bowl game, send the scenes out the right way. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> hey, you a you a Xbox or you a PS4? Oh man, uh, yeah. How you doing? Jim, nice to meet you, man. Me too. What was it like finding out he was gonna be your head coach? Oh, I mean, coming into it, I ain't know nothing about him, but as I got to know him, I'm very thankful for him. He's a very good guy, you know. He he just like a father figure. You know, like, he going to discipline you. He going to let you know when you're wrong. But he also going to coach you. And, and, and as that goes on, it teaches you, like, life, life lessons. It's gone. Was it nice to see that he had a track record of success at previous stops? It was. It really, it really was. Yeah, but he's won, what, several? I mean, he, he won that national championship with Delta State, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Or no, he got it. He, at least he was 27 to 8. <laughs> like, three seasons? That's, that's incredible. That's, that's um, great. So tell me, I mean, from your perspective, obviously, I mean, literally everybody all in your Philly Jones sports. Right, right. What, what are the differences for him as a player? What were the changes you made? Because you're a senior, um, you've been there for a number of years. What was, what changed in this offseason that wasn't there before? Um, I mean, I was only there last year. I was a JUCO transfer. But the thing is with that is from what I've seen since I've been here, in that year of span, this year with the, with the set of coaches that we have, we have more like fire in practice. Like it's more fire brought to the team now. Like everyone is like really like bought bought, bought in into like what's going on with, with the program. So yeah. So I know it's like a full time job here talking to a player. So usually it's just like relax when mm -hmm. you get a chance. What do you do to relax? Um, just like on some free time. Yeah. I, mean, I play video games, man. I'm with probably Bull Bars playing video games, doing something. <laughs> what do you guys play? Uh, Fortnite, uh, Madden, 2K, whatever. <laughs> I got. In, I, I wish I had invented Fortnite. Like I, I, every player I've talked to, Big Twelve is talking to us today. Like we're gonna play Fortnite. I'm like the one guy who said he didn't play Fortnite, his, his uh, teammate snitched on him. Like immediately he's like, "Cause he's sucking it." You know I mean, <laughs> he's like, "He's not playing Madden only." But uh, <laughs> so, I don't know. amazing to me. So. Obviously, I hope you have a very long playing career, but do you know once that wraps up, what you would like to do? Uh, I like to stay around the game. I want to be a coach afterwards, you know. Excellent. Where, where did you grow up? Um, Bell Glade, Florida. Okay. Excellent. So, you're, so you're not, so, uh, how long, that's, what, like, that's a, dry, a day's drive? Uh, it's like nine and a half, yeah. ten. Yeah, that's yeah. a good long drive. Yes. What track did you do? I mean, did, where, did you go straight into Juco from high school? Or? Yes, sir. What attracted you to come to? Um, Coach Brady, uh, Coach Brian Vincent from last year. Uh, I was going through a process of my grades wasn't looking too well coming out, and uh, other schools fell back because they thought I wasn't wasn't going to make it. And Coach Brian Vincent stayed up by my side, and he he was like, "Hey, I'm not going to give up on you. I believe in you." And by him doing that, that just encouraged me to want to go be great in the classroom. So, you know, I stuck with this. That's great. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Nice talking to you, too.
it's a great experience, man. You know, it's pretty cool to be out here. <laughs> Yeah, I got time. <laughs> um, it was pretty cool, you know, two hour drive, not too much. That went about Troy. Oh man, that was a big win, you know. We came in with the mindset, you know, Troy just came off being LSU, so we knew like they was gonna come in there feeling like they was just hit so like superior, and we we had to smack them in the mouth from last year, so we just came out there with a good mindset. Now for you guys, uh, I know they passed that bill to get that new stadium up. How excited is the team and the players to you know get start fresh over there? I mean the. The freshmen, the sophomores, I mean, they, they're very excited. Us, we're kind of salty because we won't be able to play in it. But, I mean, it's a great, you feel me? It's a great little thing going on for the community. So. Um, you guys have a couple players on the team from Dothan in the Wiregrass area, area part of Alabama. Do you know anything about Dothan itself or, like, what football? Or no, I don't know. Nothing about Dothan. Um, okay, how about moving forward for this, uh, for this team, you know, you're starting to coach me. Um, you know, you set the bar set high. Uh, right. Given last year. How high, I guess, how good can this team be? Um, this team can be very good. You know, we got a lot of tools that people don't understand, but we got a lot of like, a lot of weapons. And I feel like we're getting very like disrespected right now because of our past season. But people got to understand that it's not the same South as last year. Okay, tell me about Matt Steffen. Matt Steffen. Oh, Matt Steffen. All right, fine. How about Rowan? Rowan Goodwin? Rowan? No. Don't okay. ring the bell. Maurice Cullen? I don't know none of these guys. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, there are a couple of juniors uh, who might have been on the team last year. Um, but for you, moving forward, what, I mean, what do you hope to, to get out of this season? You know, you um, the biggest offensive threat here. Um, I hope to lead the nation in receiving touchdowns, receiving yards, and catches. And I also hope to, like, not to get out of my game element and not get too cocky with it, but to lead my team into a Sun Belt championship. What is something people might not know about South Alabama and its football program? Maybe yeah, we got a lot of savages over there. What does that mean? That means like everything over there is cutthroat. It's like real. It's like no play thing. What has the coaching staff kind of uh, told the players, maybe told the team about, you know, getting the max out of everybody? Um, well, Coach Campbell tell us to come out there every day like like it's our last day. So, like, we can't we can't take, like, no days off, like no regrets, you know. We come out there, we just give it our all. So, I mean. How about your thoughts on having the Sun Belt, you know, media day here in New Orleans? And it's, it's a cool experience. You know, it's my first time, you know, meeting new people, meeting new guys around from the Sun Belt teams. You know, it's just a great, just a great feeling, you know. Yeah, what's that like to be in the same room as uh, a lot of your enemies here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right now it's cool, you know. You know, we, we can be cool buddy-buddy right now. But on the field, you know, they're going to change. Thanks. All right, thanks, man. To that, I ain't even no Drake fan. I'll push it to you. So, <laughs> so, so what have you been listening to? I've been on that future, that beast mode too. No. What's your favorite track? Uh, Rats Blue. Well, I'm gonna have to get that one listen. Got to, got to. <laughs> Look, I'm just excited because I'm going to the Drake Hole <laughs> Got me the tickets. I'm going. All right, that's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. I've been eavesdropping. I heard you guys have a newer football program. Yeah. How long have y'all been around? Uh, probably about maybe ten years. Okay. Maybe about ten years. Can you can you see the difference between your program being a together a little bit younger than the others? Is there a difference you've noticed? Uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, honestly, no, nah, not really. Not Cause every, I feel like every team in the Sun Belt doing their own little thing, like upgrading. So, right. Um, so, what are some of your school's upgrades? 
Uh, we get a new um, campus stadium brought to our um, campus, and then we also just got moved to Adidas from Nike. And, you know, they just done a lot of rebuilding, a lot of remodeling. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> Antonio Brown, friend of Pittsburgh Steelers, my role model. What you, what did you learn from Antonio Brown? Uh, just have a, a savage attitude, you know, be a playmaker, go out and be yourself. And he come from the same that I come from, so yeah. Where, where are you from? Where are you? I'm from Belgrade, Florida. Yeah. Have you been to Boca? Boca? Yeah, I've been to Boca. Nah, I ain't got no buddies down there, but I've been there. Okay, have you heard American Heritage? America, yeah. Okay. I played them in high school. Which one? Uh, Nation or? No, I just played Heritage. Oh, Delray? Uh, Delray Heritage. Oh, Delray Heritage? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you coach, coach Osha or Delray? Uh, I don't, I'm not sure who they coach was. <laughs> so how long have you been in New Orleans for this? Uh, Two days. Nah, you didn't see the city. Y'all just been around this area, basically? Yeah. That's it. What's, what's the environment like at your school's football team? You know, how do you think it's going to change with a new stadium? Uh, I feel like it'll be packed out. It'll probably get sold out with a new stadium because everything is close around student housing, and therefore people can drink and walk to the games. And yeah, they ain't got to dry. <laughs> Y'all just gonna be turning up the game. That's Turn. You're gonna be lit, yeah. Got to. That's how you win games. Yeah. Do you have a, a pregame ritual? Like a lot of players like to take naps and eat before they game, and then they'll go out a couple hours. Nah, I just listen to R and B. R and B. Yeah. Old R and B though. He listen to old R and B. Yeah. You know, I, most people listen to more aggressive music. Exactly. You can't be aggressive before a game. You gotta be able to cool. You gotta be cool. You gotta be cool. Relax. Be yourself. You feel me? So pretty different than others. Like, Tune the R and B. Alright. So that's what you about. You about being cool and doing you? Yeah, I just do me. That's nice. <laughs> Good talking to you. Hey man. Alright. Yeah.